Well, we're here at the tally room, and the result, which everyone expected to be quite tight, is really just a one horse race. To tell us more and to talk us through it, Michael Tachene. Michael, how is it matching up thus far? Well, I mean, we came in with our own sort of notions about what this battle would be. And I think at Stumps on day three, Australia's really got the ascendancy. They've got over 200 runs lead in the first innings, and they've got the ones with the momentum. What about the leadership in this Victorian election? How do you think the leadership has really fared going into it? Well, I think Ricky Ponting doesn't want to be the first Australian captain to lose three Ashes series, and that's going to be weighing on his mind. Fair enough. But what about the bit players? The bit players we can't forget. You know, the local members in their electorates, the Greens. Well, Peter Siddle. He wasn't even expected to be, be in the first 11. Here he is taking six for on the Gabba wicket. I mean, what more do you want? I mean, let's take a step back at this stage. I mean, we're in the moment right now in the tally room, you know, on election night. But what about the history of Victoria, the history of this election? We can't deny that, surely. Oh, history plays a huge part of this. I mean, every boy playing in his backyard is playing against England. He wants to be part of the Ashes, and many of these guys are living their childhood dreams. Well, look, despite us saying it's a one-horse race, the election is probably still too tight to call, and we're going to be here for a while, so we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, with four test matches to go, I can't wait. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Paul.